So this is an interesting question that comes from James. Um, I've come across a product called Zemana Anti-Logger, which claims to prevent key logging and other threats. However, I can't find a decent review of this product anywhere. The application is real. The question is, does it work? What solution would you use to prevent key logging? So the whole idea behind key logging is key logging is an attack against your computer. And basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to log all the keystrokes that you, uh, that you do uh, to be able to try to find things like username and passwords. So as you type things in, all of that information is generally stored to some type of file and then it's shipped off uh, to one of their servers so that they can go through and see what you did. So if you go to um, you know, bankoflondon.com, they then see your email address, they then see something else after that, they can figure that is your password for bankoflondon.com, that type of thing, right? Um, so the question then is, is how do you protect yourself against key loggers? And one of the things that is out there is anti-key loggers logger software. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I took a look at uh, Zavanna, uh, honestly, um, and I really couldn't find a whole lot out about it. Um, it definitely is a product. Uh, there are, definitely are a number of products within this category. So this is a category that does exist. Um, would I use it? Um, probably not at the end of the day. And, and let me tell you why. One of the problems you get to with security is the, the question always is, is how much do you need? You know, how much security do you need? You need antivirus software, you need anti-malware software, you need this software, you need that software, you need the other software. All of a sudden you're starting, starting to spend $150, $200 a year simply on subscriptions to all this kind of anti-whatever software. And then one of the issues you run into is the more software you put on your computer, the worse it's going to run, right? You load up a PC with all the security software in the world, and it will be absolutely secure because it will basically be unusable, right? Um, and so that's the question you have to ask yourself with like this anti-keylogger software. Honestly, um, I would not use it, not because it has anything to do with the product itself, but I, I think there is a point that you hit overkill. And for most places, this would most likely be overkill. So if you were in a a secure environment. Um, I may worry about key logging. Like if you were in the banking industry, uh, maybe if you're in the enterprise world and you have to access a lot of cloud services, what I would say is basically this is the type of product that I would use is if I was sitting down as the CIO for my company and I'm going through all the, the possible attack vectors and I go, wow, we have this massive uh, threat potential uh, in this certain uh, component of our business. I think in order to, to be able to mitigate that, if we use some kind of anti-key logging software, that would be good. Um, that's the type of thing that I would look at. So, um, so, you know, basically installing it on very specific software. So like, um, I would look at anti-key logging software not necessarily for my like network administrators, so all my sysadmins, my MCSEs, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I wouldn't necessarily look at it using that for them, but again, maybe the marketing department. So let's say the marketing department, the marketing department does a lot of communication, right? So the, the marketing department is emailing a lot of people, receiving a lot of emails, so they are the perfect target for phishing or spear phishing attacks uh, because they talk to a lot of people, right? You know, like your sysadmins, they, Sysadmins shouldn't be taking a lot of random emails. Basically, sysadmins talk to the people that sysadmins know, right? So there's a little more security there. When you're dealing with marketing or you're dealing with salespeople, they're communicating with all kinds of random people all the time, which makes them beautiful, beautiful phishing and spear phishing targets. Um, so they're beautiful targets. And then also, you know, the sales, those marketing, those types of people, they're the ones that absolutely loud, love cloud services. They hate the IT department with an absolute and utter passion. So any time they can circumvent the IT department, they will. Plus, the products that they use many times are cloud-based anyway. So you're looking at they are uh, they are a very juicy threat. Uh, uh, threat vector for uh, hackers, um, and they actually use cloud services that can be attacked from other places. Therefore, that would be an awesome place to use something like uh, key log, anti-key logging software. Again, not necessarily for other people. Uh, you know, if you build your security properly within your infrastructure, uh, people should not be able to access your internal infrastructure from the outside world if you use intrusion detection properly, if you use firewalls properly, if you use all these things properly. Uh, 
frankly, even if somebody had your, the, the username and password for your administrator accounts, they still shouldn't be able to get, get in. Uh, if the rest of the security is done. Uh, whereas if you're accessing all these cloud services, obviously you can access those cloud services from anywhere in the world. So anti-key logging um, is a real product. Um, within a certain scope, it is something that I would honestly look at. Now, if you look at this product from what I could see, it was about $30. I think it's like $30 a year, you know, one of those $30 subscription fees. Um, and so for the normal person, I'd worry about your antivirus, your anti-malware, making sure your computer is up to date, make sure you have all the updates on your computer, make sure Adobe is updated, make sure Java is updated, make sure all that kind of stuff is updated. And this would be way, way, way down on the lists uh, of things I would even think about for the normal user. Again, take it, leave it, but that is my opinion. Yes, most likely a useful product. No, not something most of you guys would actually need to use. Even, again, even, even in a business environment, most of you guys, I think, I think it would honestly be overkill.